to another one of my videos. In this video, we're going to be doing a PWK carb and fitting an adjustable power jet. Okay, we have a little conundrum and somehow we're going to get a solution. So, we've got a bit of a mountain man who lives 2,500 feet above sea level and his bike doesn't run very good at that level until it comes down to the coast which is on a 20 kilometers difference. So 20 kilometers down the hill is on the coast, 20 kilometers back up the hill is 2,500 uh, feet above sea level and his bike just runs awful. So, so far we've fitted a, uh, a dialer jet kit in but our dialer jet kit we don't want to jet we've got problems because the power jet is overpowering the dialer jet kit and therefore the dialer jet jet kit just stops working because the power jet's supplying too much fuel so it's what we need is an adjustable power jet so we can turn the power jet off when it's up the mountain and turn the power jet on when it comes down the mountain. So when he's up the mountain, the dialer jet supplies the correct amount of fuel. When he comes down the mountain, we, he opens up the power jet again. He's got more, more fuel and the dialer jet should hardly be working when it gets down to sea, sea level. It'll just uh, play around with the mid range. So what we need is an adjustable power jet. Mm. <laughs> So what we're going to do is, I've got one of these chokes and we've chopped that end off and then we've got that. So this bit is now going to be machined down so it can thread into the top of here, which is a 5mm thread. So we've got a 5mm die. The first job is to machine this piece down so we have got an adjustable an adjuster on the top here. I'll show it out. Okay, first thing we're gonna do is we will file it flat the end because it's just been cut off rough. That's looking better. Right, so now we're just gonna file round to put a little lead on it. So as our tap, well sorry, our die, can get a start on it. Okay, we've got the, uh, we took the little plastic knob off the end of it, uh, so we could just grip it in the vice better. And now we're just going to die it down, stick the die on it. That didn't work out too well. What happened there? It's bent. Okay, we're going to have to make another one. That one is a failure. Then, next, we've got another one. So we're just going to cut this one off. Got loads of these. <laughs> I think I've got plenty of these because they end up in uh, choke conversion, so I end up with lots of these left over. So I'm going to have to remachine this one now. Probably when I was machining it, it probably bent or something. Right, back to the lathe. Right. Now we've got it in the lathe, we'll just face it off anyway. Nice little taper at the start now. 
so we'll get a nice tighter thread on it. Right, let's try again, shall we? Now, <laughs> I've never tried to do one of these before. I've seen um, two-stroke stuffing, and he's actually got an inline gauge that he can turn to turn up and down the fuel flow. But when you're looking at a, a jet that's only uh, a f between a 30 and a 40 uh, power jet, <laughs> that 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 little gauge that he's got in line on here, it's not going to make any much difference because the fuel that's in front of it, it's already going to get a gulp of full fuel anyway. So I'd rather have an adjustable jet itself. So that's why I'm going down this route. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to try and dye this down uh, without getting it uh, drunk this time. I'm going to be very careful with it. Oh, we better tighten it up. sure that it's nice and square. Okay, it seems to be going in nicely. Oh, it's moving about, hang on. Tighten it up without damaging it. And hopefully this time we're not drunk. Let's just have a look at that and see what that goes in like. Yeah, that's much better. So that's open, close, open, close. But we need our jet down and we need our special little tool in there. We're going to go with this one. I'm not going to play around anymore because once it's got, once it's uh, all the way down where we want it, it's pretty good. It's only going to turn a quarter of a turn anyway, opening and closing. I'll make another one, maybe. Practice makes perfect. Right, the next bit is even trickier. So, uh, the next bit, I'm going to show you now what we're going to do. Okay, what we're going to do is now we're going to take the power jet out. And we need a needle, which is a slide needle, that will fit nicely in there to block off the power jet. That one is too tight. Let's try a different one. Let's have a look at that one. That one fits inside snugly. Okay, we'll zoom you in. best as you can. Will it focus on it? Yeah. So what we've got is that needle then sits in the bottom of the jet and blocks the jet off. So therefore we've now got, we can adjust it in and out on half a turn. We've got an adjustable power jet. We can completely block it off or we can fully open up or somewhere in between. So this is what we're trying to uh, achieve, an adjustable power jet. So let's, uh, we need to, what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut this off. First of all, I'm gonna machine it so we've got a bit of a flat on it. And it is then, I'm gonna have to drill the end of this and this is gonna be inside it. So that will have its own needle sticking out like that. So we'll get there, we'll get there. Slowly, slowly, more machining. Okay, so what we're gonna to attempt to do, if we don't bend the needle trying, is to machine this needle down, further up the shank here, we're gonna machine it to uh, 2.5 mil. And then we will drill out our other bit to 2.5 mil, and hopefully it will be a knocking fit if we can. So I'm gonna leave it just above 2.5. So then I can get a nice tight knocking fit. So it could be, I might get it right first time or it might just be a disaster, let's see.
okay, now it's just touching. Bit on it. Starting to cut now. Let's have a look at the size. So we're on, wow, 2.5 mil. So we don't want to go more than that. Okay. Now this is absolutely tiny now, and it's tapered most of it, so I can't put it in the lathe again, because I've just got nothing to hold onto that's actually straight. There's a little bit of straight shank there, but not where I want it. So I'm just going to file a small lead on here. So it allows me to tap it into the other piece. So there we go. Oh, we might need a little bit more. Okay. A little bit, a little bit of Loctite. Hopefully, this is right depth and everything, and it should all be correct. So we're going to drop a little bit of Loctite in. Stick our little pin in, and then we're going to tap it in with a copper hammer. straight as we can get it. That is as good as it's going to go I think. So, okay, it's a bit like trial and error. So this is what we've got. Can that focus? Hang on, give it something to focus to. Finger, hello, finger, finger, woo, look, finger. Stop focusing to the back of the room. Anyway, you've got a little needle here that fits nicely into the power jet and blocks it off. So we're just going to put that in now. And that's it. So we'll give it a test. No. Nope. Yeah. Off. So we've got a power jet adjuster. Full. Off. Off. Okay. Victory is mine. How's that looking? So it's easy enough to, to adjust as well because it's not right down here and fiddly. You've got a nice sexy little knob on it. Look at that. Ooh, lovely. So off, no power jet, supply, half, full. Quarter of turns half, you've got adjustment. So now, when he goes up the mountain, turn off the power jet, we're 30 less on the main jet. Open up the power jet, go down the hill, 30 more on the pay jet, main jet, on the power jet. 
Well, it can only be tested and tried, can it? Well, everyone, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Hope you enjoyed that little piece on making a adjustable power jet. Uh, could be useful for some people, especially if they live up a very big mountain. <laughs>